It's the first evening in Kentucky. We've been on stand for about two hours now. It's about 10 after 5. We're watching a, a, a cut cornfield. And there's been some ryrie planted in here. Some hay bales. And we just noticed about five minutes ago, two does come in the field at 10 after 5. So it's going to be a pretty good evening for deer to moving this early. It's got me really excited. Robbie checked a few distances on the bales and the deer started moving into the field. We're sitting there watching a couple of does and all of a sudden they started getting real skittish and all of a sudden another doe runs into the field and a fucking 130 class 8, 8 or 9 boy comes running out. I've got him at about 190 yards. It's still early. We're not going to rush anything and uh, we're going to see if we can make this happen. The buck is feeding on the opposite side of a split field. Robbie's hopeful that the buck will cross the irrigation ditch and give him a more manageable shot. And as luck would have it, the buck does exactly what Robbie needed. It's like he was reading his mind. He's not across the ditch. I don't see him across the Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Getting that deer. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Guys, I think I made a good shot. I was on him. 80 yards held right on him. I heard that bullet hit. It sounded good. Whew. He's crashing. He just fell. He's falling. some blood where I hit this pig at, so stick with us, we're gonna do see what we can find. Whether it's deer, turkeys, it doesn't matter. Outdoor insights does it wherever we go. We got some more blood right here. Well he's starting to really pick it up now. Right there, right there, not 20 yards away. First Kentucky whitetail. With a muzzle loader. Good buck. Great buck, guys. You take a look at that. Look at the mass on this joker. I'd say we're looking at a good 16, 17 inches inside. He's a nine point. We didn't know about that uh, G4 on that side. It's got a lot of junk happening right here. Beautiful, beautiful buck. Put a lot of time into this buck. We uh, come down here yesterday, and it's the first day of uh, the early muzzleloader season. We hunted a stand that uh, we had a little bit of problem with some dogs and stuff this morning. We're hunting with Moss 94 Outfitters. It's, we're tickled that they, we had the opportunity to come down here. We got a large group of hunters. And uh, we wanted to try and mix something up a little bit. And uh, Graham took us out here and put us in a, uh, in a ground blind. And we sat there for two, three hours and uh, did good, did good. Uh, had some does come out. And then this joker, he just come out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Did you look at the fur on this deer? Shooting a 240 grain uh, hollow point sabot. Got a little worried though, I'll tell you folks. Uh, <laughs> we watched the tape over and over again. We thought we heard the deer crash. Couldn't find him, couldn't find him. Couldn't find any blood, which is typical with a muzzleloader hunt. And uh, me and Nate, we just kept playing it over. And he's like, I can see the bullet going into it. So we didn't give up. We said, you know what? Maybe he went a different direction. So we cut out and Nate found blood and we got on him and here he is. I mean, beautiful buck. That's a good buck anywhere. It's definitely 
really good buff for my first buff in Kentucky.